Hello, I am Slumbu. Welcome to another discussions regarding the Travis Computations Part 2. This is a continuation from the previous discussion that we had on the Travis Computations. At the end of the lesson, students should be able to calculate the closing error calculate the correction using the Bodich method, correct the change in things and change in nothings, and also calculate the coordinates. So maybe before we go into our serious business of uh, calculating the corrections and the like, let us look at uh, the closing error. Because wherever there is a um, need to do the calculations it means that uh, we are not closing at the spot of uh, the closed uh, polygon traverse so let's look at uh, this diagram let's assume a dash is the first position of a and a is the closing position of our closed uh, polygon traverse and from our calculations, the previous calculations, we worked out and found out that um, the error for the change in things was plus 0 0.19 and also for the northings was minus 0 0.20. So these are the northings represent the vertical uh, size, the vertical value of, um, uh, or in other case, we'll say the northings or the change in northings in this case, that is minus. Uh, 0 0.20 and the change in these things is um, plus <coughs> 0 0.19 but then we can determine the crossing error that's uh, in this case the crossing error is the distance uh, between uh, a dash and a or in other case we'll say the distance a dash a so this error can be found by using the Pythagoras theorem as you would see in the uh, equation or this formula we have a dash a is equal to the square root of the summation of 0 0.19 squared plus 0 0.20 squared and this gives us 0 0.276 meters that is our error in the perimeter of uh, this traverse that is the total length of the traverse we worked out to be 849.76. So it means that we have an error of 0 0.27 meters in every 849.76 meters. So we can express this since it is a ratio, so it is um, 0 0.276 in 849.76 so we can simplify it which equals to one in every 3079 approximately so this is our accuracy in this kind of a uh, travesty exercise however for any uh, survey exercise there has to be some uh, project specifications or exercise specifications and accuracy is one of uh, the specifications you may be given that uh, the exercise would require an accuracy of maybe one in every 50,000 meters. So assuming that accuracy is the one that we've been given, therefore the one that we've found is far below that one. So it means that you need to redo the exercise. But for academic purposes, we are going to leave everything as it is. Uh, we assume we are within the uh, accuracy that has been specified. So now we will go to the next stage where we are working out or we are calculating the change in Easton's correction for each and every traverse lake by the Bodich method. So as you would see for the change in Easton's, we worked out as the error to be uh, 0 0.19. So that is our error after adding all the change in Easton's and they gave us an error of 0 0.19. But for an error, for an error less, or maybe for um, a, an exercise that do not have any error in the change in these things, it is supposed to give us a zero. 
So in this case, it's not giving us a zero. So what do we do so that we add all the change in these things and it should give us an, a zero? So for us to have a zero for the change in these things, for the summation of change in these things, we need to subtract 0 0.19. So we don't just subtract that figure anyhow. We distribute the errors proportionally. That is, the error is distributed in proportion to the length of each and every Travis leg that we have observed. So the Bodich method uses this um, formula, that is the total correction over the perimeter times the distance constant, or the distance that we want to correct at that particular point. So for example, if we want to correct the distance uh, AB, or if we want to calculate the correction for the distance AB, then it has to be the total correction, which is um, 0. Point, that is minus 0. 0.19 over uh, uh, 849.76 times 8, 4, 9, 6, times, times uh, the distance AB, which is uh, 129.54 uh, in this case. And this gives us minus 0. Uh, 0. 0.03. And now if you want to correct... Um, uh, the, uh, the 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 traverse leg BC, it means that you are going to use the same minus 0 0.19 over 849.76 times the distance BC, which is 160.40 in this case. So it goes on, it's the same uh, with uh, maybe distance EA. You maintain uh, minus 0 0.19 over 849.76 then you multiply by the new length the, uh, the new length of uh, uh, EA in this case is 21.244 so it will give you the value for the correction but since uh, this figure seems to be uh, constant that is a uh, minus 0 0.19 over 849.76 is a constant we only multiply by the changing values of the distance for the traverse leg so we can work out that constant which is equivalent to uh, minus uh, 2.236 times 10 to the power minus 4 so which means that we are going to multiply this constant by each and every traverse leg in 10 to work out uh, their respective correction so the calculated values in this case using that constant that is for AB, we are saying uh, minus 2.236 times 10 to the power minus 4 times 129.54 and gives us 0 0.03. So this number is used to multiply uh, different distances in the traverse leg and these are the values that we have worked out for the correction. But sometimes it might happen that um, whenever you are adding these uh, correction, they may not exactly equate to minus 0 0.19 so in, in such case you have to uh, maybe do by inspection since these values have been corrected to two decimal places so it might have uh, occurred that uh, at one point maybe uh, the, the 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 value or the the correction was maybe closer very closer to um, uh, the, the figure for example uh, where you have uh, maybe um, in this case for CD assuming that we worked out and then we found out that uh, uh, this is uh, maybe if we add all these is uh, 0 uh, 0.20 so for the correction for uh, 0 0.03 maybe it was 0 0.03 uh, uh, maybe 5 and the like and then the correction maybe it came up to say 4 and the other areas where the correction where maybe you have a 0, 0.0 maybe here 3 and 9 something so where you have a number which is very closer to 0 0.5 or maybe very closer to 5 for the correction then you can disregard um, by turning uh, maybe a number or by adding a number one in this case i'm trying to say that um, let's assume we have minus uh, 0 0.03567 so instead of having maybe two, two decimal places 0 0.004 
that is to two decimal places since we have exceeded the number that we wanted for the summations so we can just leave it at a uh, minus 0 0.03 so you just examine uh, the, uh, the the numbers next to um, where whichever you, you you had corrected to the nearest and see uh, which is bigger and which is uh, smaller so you you go for uh, those that are bigger numbers uh, you maintain their correction or maybe the way they are but uh, those are very close to uh, maybe 0 0.5 or maybe they are very close to uh, whatever the correction then you can disregard it but at the end of the day the purpose is that um, you should have um, a number that is the same as the error save for the signs so the signs are different but uh, for the magnitude of the numbers have to be the same so that whenever you are adding them they should give you zero i believe that is okay and then the next is a, a calculation by bodish method that is changing in, in nothings it's, it's the same we follow the same procedure as we were doing with the change in these things uh, the only difference is that wherever we are changing these things now we have the change in things, and also for uh, the error the error for changing these things we replace it by the change for the error for changing nothings so as you would see that uh, the change in nothings when we added we had an error of minus 0 0.20 and the correction in this case supposed to be 0 0.2 uh, zero that is a uh, plus plus zero point two zero that's uh, going to be our correction so our constant number in this case is going to be zero point two over uh, eight hundred forty nine point seven six which gives us two point three five four times ten to the power uh, minus four so we are going to multiply this number which is a uh, two point uh, three five four times ten to the power minus four with each and every traverse uh, leg in ten to work out the correction for the respective legs of the traverse so you see that we have uh, the numbers here which have been calculated and then when we add all this we are finding that the answer is 0 0.20 so that is um uh, the figure that we are supposed to find in this case uh, if we add this figure to the error in the change in all things the answer is going to be zero so that we are okay and then we can go ahead to now uh, put in the correction that will be calculated in the table so the correction for the change in instance the one that we have calculated there are these are uh, correction and for the change in things, we have these are uh, corrections <coughs> and once we have uh, done this once we have uh, uh, worked out the correction now the next stage is to come up with the corrected change in instincts and also change in nothings so these columns need to be filled so we can only fill these columns by by adding whether it's adding or subtracting depending on whatever you are doing depending on the signs as it is in this case for the change in instincts to have the corrected change in instincts for the traverse leg ab it means that we are going to say minus 128.28 uh, minus 0 0.03 because this is the correction for the traverse leg ab and for this traverse leg bc it means that we are going to have 148 that is minus 148.45 minus 0 0.04 and uh, for uh, the traverse leg de we we'll have uh, 188.41 minus 0 0.04 to determine the corrected um, uh, change in instincts so uh, one thing that you need to know is that um, if the summation of uh, uh, if the error for the the, the summation of changes in instincts is uh, positive so the correction has to be negative regardless of the sign of uh, uh, the change in instinct that here is under consideration so all the numbers has to be uh, has to have the negative sign so you don't need to change the signs whenever you have uh, uh, maybe a positive change in these things like in this case we have 188.41 therefore we couldn't have had uh, maybe plus 0 0.04 but instead we maintain our negative signs for the correction 
because our correction says we're supposed to subtract uh, 0 0.19 from uh, the accumulation of this figure that is uh, we have 0 0.19 so that the summation of change in, so that the summation of change in these things should be zero in that case so like i said that um the corrected uh, wherever you have the corrected like what i was explaining for the change in instincts so we have these values the corrected change in instincts and also these are the corrected change in nothing so uh, the correction for change in the nothings you add to those erroneous change and nothings like for the travis leg cd if you want to correct uh, the change in nothings for cd so the change in nothings for cd the one that we carry created previously in our uh, uh, Travis computations part one we had minus one three four point one zero so today we have calculated that uh, this is the correction which is a uh, uh, zero point zero four so if you add this figure to hundred and thirty four point one zero the answer is going to be minus one hundred and thirty four point zero six so this is uh, the correct change in nothings so the procedure is the same with each and every travis alike as we will do and when we add the change in nothings then it gives us zero so we have this zero and also adding change in these things is giving us zero so that's our result then now we are satisfied that we can move on to the next stage that is to calculate the coordinates for the stations otherwise we don't need to calculate this uh, coordinates for the stations if we have uh, uh, the change in these things that do not add up to uh, zero so we are assuming in this case that uh, the east things and north things for station a is zero zero so those are the assumptions santa it's not always that you have zero zero but you you may have in reality you may have a uh, uh, values you may have ten thousand you may have eight hundred thousand you may have or even maybe eight hundred uh, as the values for uh, the stations that where you are starting but for academic purposes in this case we are assuming that uh, uh, the eastings for the station a is uh, zero and the northing is zero now to determine the next nothing uh, for station that is for the station b then you look at uh, the change in eastings or the change in the northings for the uh, travis leg a b so change that's the corrected this has to be the corrected change in northings for a b so change in northings for a b in this case is uh, the corrected one is minus 17.98 so you say 0 minus 17.98 and the answer is minus 17.98 and uh, to determine the next uh, uh, change in northings that is at at station c and then you look at um uh, the change in northings the corrected change in northings for the travis leg bc so for the travis leg bc is 60.80 so you say uh, minus uh, 17.98 plus 60.80 and the answer is 42.82 then moving on to the next uh, 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 station that is station d then you determine the corrected change in northings for C D. So the corrected change in northings for C D is minus hundred and thirty four point zero six. So you say for the two point eight two minus uh, one hundred and thirty four point zero six and this gives us minus ninety one point two four. Then the next that is um the change in northings in this case the northings for the station e is uh, you look at the change the corrected change in northings for uh, the travis uh, de so this is a uh, uh, de which is, is, is which is a uh, minus uh, 43.61 so minus 91.24 uh, minus uh, 43.61 it is giving us 134.85 as our uh, uh, as our northings for the station E. So to wrap up or maybe to finalize uh, the station, the northings for A is uh, you have this uh, 135, sorry 134.85 minus 134.85 and then the answer is zero. So we have gone back to 
our station A, which has got uh, uh, zero, uh, uh, zero nothings. Otherwise, if you find uh, a number different from that, then it means that your arithmetic equation is not proper. So you need to revisit your arithmetic equation. So it's supposed to go back to zero. That is uh, the one that we started with. As for the change in listing, so you consider looking at the corrected uh, uh, change in listings for the Travis selects, that is A, B, B, C, uh, C, D, D, E, and also E, A. So those values you add, like for A, B, then it means that you, you are going to say 0, 0.00 minus 128.31, and this gives us for the listing for, tra for, for station B, is going to be minus 128.31. Now to move on to the next uh, station, which is station C, then you also consider uh, the corrected change in listings for the Travis A uh, leg BC, which is um, minus 148.49. Uh, so to determine that, then it's supposed to be minus 128.31 minus 148.49. And then the answer is minus 276.8. Eight zero, so that's uh, the change. That's uh, the easting value for the station C. So the process goes on and on until you go back to the coordinates for A. So assuming that the coordinates for A were fifty and fifty nothings, then it means that uh, we would have uh, calculated uh, the values here to be fifty and they are fifty. So that's what I had time for for today, and maybe for us to see whether. You have understood whatever we discussed today. You should try the following um, uh, problems. So the first problem is that you should calculate the crossing error and accuracy for the following traversy. Of course, you have the line that traverses the line A, B, B, C, and C, D, or D, and E, A. So the lines are as follows. A, B is 110.20, and the whole circle bearing for that is 156 degrees. 40 minutes and zero zero seconds. So in this exercise, don't need to work out the uh, the internal angle summation check because that has already been done for you. And also, um, we have the bearing for each and every traverse leg. So you just need to work out uh, the change in these things and change. I don't need to discuss all that. Let's see how you uh, work out. And also for the problem. Two, you distribute the closing error by the bodage method and calculate the corrected coordinates for the stations. So the we have uh, sorry we have um, 